Hey guys, I'm Savannah, and thanks for making it to the first video of St. Thomas Travels, where we'll be exploring all the beautiful Virgin Islands. But if you can't tell, I'm actually not there yet. And that's because today I want to tell you how I even got the amazing opportunity to live there for an entire year and what it was like going through that process. So let's jump into it. So at first, I didn't even think I was going to be able to study abroad in college, but that was until I heard about the National Student Exchange Program, which allowed me to pay the same amount that I'm already paying, but go to a different university. Although it did limit me in the sense that I was only able to pick from United States colleges, I was still able to go to a U.S. territory like the Virgin Islands. I chose St. Thomas in specific because I really wanted to divulge into a culture that was different than my own. And I was really interested in island nation cultures after learning about um, Margaret Mead in my Anthropology of Cultures class. The process of going through the NSC program and getting set up at my host school was like any other. There were a couple essays to write, forms to fill out, but if you are fairly organized, you know what you're doing and you're dedicated to it, it is a simple process. Um, I do recommend getting the forms done in a timely manner because there was a couple hiccups along the way, especially when it came to getting signatures and certain classes approved. So make sure you get those done almost as soon as they're assigned to you. Since I literally have two closets full of clothes, this has been my biggest struggle when it comes to preparing to leave. Um, I also discovered that it is extremely expensive to ship items, probably more than what they're worth. So I devised a plan to pack all my favorite items into a check bag and two carry-ons and then buy the rest of what I consider to be necessities when I get there. I've also decided to leave two days early and basically integrate myself into the area and get a little vacation time in before heading into a university setting. I also recommend um, getting your passport pretty early if it is expired because if you are especially going to a US territory or maybe even Alaska and your Canada, you're going to need that if you're going to want to go to explore certain countries outside of the United States. So thank you for watching my first vlog video. Um, hope it was informative for anyone who's looking to go into the National Student Exchange Program, possibly check out the Virgin Islands or anything similar to that.